For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict. But eventually declared that any human who fell would die. Mount Ebbett. Few humans have braved this mountain. Those who did were never seen again. Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and welcome to Undertale Yellow with me, your boy, Sakamoto. Here we are, playing Undertale Yellow, and yeah, so if you didn't watch my understory let's play, then I'm just going to give you a brief TLDR. I already played this game and filmed it, and I had a whole series of nine episodes, and it was like, it went pretty great, but I'm not happy with it, and I'm gonna have to edit way too much in that, and it's just like, I gave a character an accent that they shouldn't have had, and there's a few other things, it's just, I could have done so much better, you know, I feel, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I feel like I can do this way better than I did, so, I want to redo it for you guys and for myself, and I kind of want to replay this game anyways, because it was so freaking good. It's such a good game, and it deserves better than, I mean, what I gave it for my first playthrough, I guess. Not that I didn't do bad, or didn't do that good. I did great, I just, it could be a lot better. Let's just put it that way. And I don't want people to get mad at me. I'll tell you who the character is when we get to them, because I gave them the wrong accent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. <laughs> you guys know that fine. It's pretty funny. Oh no, it's Froggit. He hopped close. Compliment. Froggit didn't understand what he said, but was flattered anyway. Angry face. <laughs> he just goes away. The mysterious goat lady scared the Froggit away. Ah, uh, hello. Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You are the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. I am playing on easy mode because this game is actually really freaking hard. It's even hard on easy mode sometimes, so... That's a thing. <laughs> uh, it allows you to have way more defense, and that's about it, but it, it helps immensely. Like, I couldn't even really get past the first boss in regular mode, and then I was able to beat it in easy mode, so. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. Thanks, Toriel. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, must walk not the middle road. In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. A speed or read signs. Stay on the road. I actually switched it, so I'm pretty sure I only have to press A to read signs. Whatever. Splendid. I am proud of you, my child. should have opened by now. I'm sure I labeled the correct lever. Lever? Lever? 
Ah, oh, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. Okie dokie. Uh-oh. <laughs> right when it gets, like, completely silent, car goes by. My child, are you alright? Oh dear, I am afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will, you will stay there, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. Ah, this is my life. Undertale. Yellow. Yeah, it's a piece of paper over there that I have no idea why it's there. Or what it's doing, or what has it to do with anything. Oh yeah, we can run. You know, that's another thing that's kind of bad about my first playthrough is I didn't even realize I... I didn't even Okay, the car. <laughs> that's what made me stop talking, and I just like stared at the window. Anyway. I didn't even realize I could run until, like, episode four or something. The sign is obscured by leaves. Only a few words are visible. Caution. Uh, run. Or maybe even five or six. I don't remember, but... Let's just keep going. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You look like a pretty confident person. I shouldn't hold you here all day, should I? Wouldn't want to be a hindrance. I'll let you go, but you should at least know this. King Ascor is responsible for everything. Seek him out and do what you must. Also, if you ever run into trouble, I can save for you. Just come look for these things and I'll be there. That is not what he said the first time I played this. <laughs> well, I suppose that's it. That's that. Go get him, buddy. He he does his whole... Man. Whatever. Howdy, it looks like you got it then. He does the whole friendliness pellets thing. Well, he doesn't say anything like that. He actually shows you how to- tells you to dodge them and proves that he's a good person in this game. Whatever, Flowey. And he's like constantly being your friend and helpful around in this game. I mean, obviously you could get that from what just happened, but... Whatever, man. It's kinda lame. Flyer's giving fighting a try. You inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. You're right. Something needs to change. Okay, it's coming back. Oh, yeah. Flyer is ready to return to his regular life. So there's a lot of stuff about this game that makes it a little harder. There's more enemies. It's a sign that says exposition in large friendly letters. The uh, battle, the bullet pattern things, they last, like, maybe... I don't know, probably two seconds longer than they do in Undertale. It's harder to get... The, the enemies give you less gold, too, and things are more expensive. Stock, press this for a do-over. Or don't. See what I mean? Uh. Oh, crap, I didn't read what I said there. Ah! Yeah, if uh, I was playing on regular mode, I would have taken 5 damage for that. Um. There we go. Make what is dim bright, make what is dark light. So yeah, we're in the underside of the ruins. Uh, so we're like under the under part of the underground, or like under, like the third layer of the underground, basically. Private property, no trespassing or something. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm just imagining out. Whatever. Hello. I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No, too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know had no choice. It must be this way. Huh? Who? I... I must be seeing things. What am I doing? We need to go this way, right? Yeah. Penis? Penilla. I was gonna say penicillin for some reason. Um, 
distract. You put yourself in between Penelope and her work. I have been at this for a while. I love the battle music remix in this game too. Like the music in this game is incredible. Um, packing up her art supplies for the day. Spare. Howdy! I see you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. Thanks, Cloudy. Again? Okay, you're double saved now. According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand. Five gold a glass. Take some, yes. You pour yourself a glass, but there is no attendant to take your money. What poor service? I wonder if it matters what... Um... What size tip you leave. Whatever. You leave five gold in the tip jar, your conscience feels light as a feather. Really? How many saves do you need? Leave me alone, fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, sweet Corn hops up excitedly. Uh, hug. You give Sweet Corn a big hug. She briefly gets sucked to your shirt. I'm feeling the love. Oh, jeez, I forgot about this. Sweet Corn is smiling contentedly. A little piece of candy corn over here. It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it. Okay, candy corn. You can already feel the cavities. <laughs> you give Sweet Corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. I love hugs! Okay. Ow. Sweet Corn is smiling contentedly. You're doing great, sweetie! And jumps up and down in celebration. Uh, me too, Panoa. to buy a boat. Know anyone selling? Ah! Everything has that new car smell with a faint whistle whiff. 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 A body spray. So flyer, he looks proud. Yeah, I totally agree. Isn't that cool? That I went higher in pitch, and I went, blah, 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 man. What have I not done? Oh, comfort. You inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half off to go. I... This isn't really... This isn't really me. Ah! What the heck? Ready to return to his regular life. Okay. I'm playing the news for you. It isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It always brightens mine. Uh, can I go down there? Not that there's anything down there, I don't think. Yeah, okay. That's all. It, the switch made us so we could go that way. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Is it wrong to hold down my actions? I enjoyed life before. I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest.
can drink the lemonade. It's very sour. It's very nice sour. Okay. Roar, I'm encounters you. You give a slight smile. Roar, smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. Ah! You are momentarily blinded by Roram's dazzling shine. You critique your appearance. Roram is very pleased. You look perfect. Whatever! Polly's right over there, so it's okay. Roram is looking for his next big project. I just didn't want to die. Roram's kind of hard. Howdy! Golly, this place sure is dead! All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. Okay, now... We make sure... Okay. This boss, when I first first played this game, and then I had to restart in easy mode after 15 minutes, uh, this I couldn't get past this boss. And this isn't even really the boss here. This is like a mini boss. Decibat makes his presence known, so all you have to do with him is just watch over and over and over until the battle's over. You watch Decibat in silence, he seems to appreciate it. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush, hush. I should probably give him a cuter voice, huh? Looks slightly more at ease. You watch this one. Move in silence. Hush, hush. Oh, shit. I fridged up. Okay. You do not have approval. Watch Decibat in silence. You seem to appreciate it. More quiet, please! There we go. Enjoying the silence. Watch Decibat in silence. You seem to appreciate it. You hear that? No? Good. You're making a lot more noise than me, Decibat. Decibat is being lulled to sleep. Sweet silence. Decibat is ready to run to sleep. Sweet silence. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go, I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so keep it hush hush. Aw, cute. Howdy! You seem to be doing well. You haven't even died once. Not, not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Alright. What are you doing now? Crispy scroll. I could not figure out what to do. Oh wait, yes I could. It just took me forever. I think I kept having to yell. He joined Crispy scroll and is excited yelling. Wait, do you speak fluent reference? Ah! percent powered up. Join Crispy Scrolls. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Hit 100% and we got it. Okay, cool. Okay. Freaking cars, man. We did it. Okay. Now I'll go. Then we can go that way. Uh. What is that? Interesting. Oh, yeah. This is where we want to go. I seem to recall what I once saw so often. I, can, I want. Okay, I'm curious. I want to go check that door out. I for, I don't think we can go past it. I'm just like, you jostle the gate. It doesn't. But okay. What I remembered. It seems just now forgotten. So I never mind. I guess. It's a stray feather. Take it. Yes, you found a stray feather. Excuse me. I burped it dead. Hmm. 
You notice a dark bath beyond the rocks, but you can't squeeze past them. He is sound asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. Well, we got here pretty quick compared to the first time I played this. I think. Yeah. Ah! Um. I don't know who you are, but I ask you. Please leave. So Dal in this game and uh, not the next uh, boss character we're going to meet in the next episode um, definitely both remind me of me a lot. Especially Dal. Um, that's why I gave him my regular voice. There's corn on the corn cob. Corn on the cob. Can I have the corn please? No? Okay. Oh yeah, we can get some corn here. Don't slip on the flowers. Oh, too late. Sorry about that. The corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it, yes. Contain corn dog. Battle crates all contain corn. You're getting tired of the stuff. I try my best. Where's five? There he is. Howdy! Not too far now. Just gotta deal with that downer. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. Property of Dal, that monster in the cloak. No trespassing. All right, Dal, let's do this, buddy. You're still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You, you look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting, or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't good enough, so you hunted me down, right? What? And I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody, but you've invaded my home. The exit is blocked and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Only one thing to do. Dal musters this fighting spirit. Dal does not seem to value communication. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That'd be easier for both of us. Dal assumes an intimidating facade. Dal does not. Okay. Where did you come from, anyway? There aren't any accessible entrances. All I know is that somehow you found me. So sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not carrying away this time. Dao doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. The other monsters. Did you pester them as well? Not that I care much to keep up with their activity. Dao seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. Attack 6, Defense 4, wants to be left alone. This region of the ruins is my home. And my home has rules. The residents understand that. Seems an intimidating facade. But it seems as if you never got the memo. That or you're purposely ignoring my wishes. This song is just giving me freaking goosebumps all over my body, it's so good. What's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? Ah, shit. I know you aren't a phantom, but... Could it be that... No, it is impossible. 
I keep thinking he's gonna go horizontal, but then he goes vertical, and then sometimes he'll go vertical instead of horizontal. I mean horizontal instead of vertical, and it confuses me. Just like everything I said was kind of confused me, and I'm the one who said it. <laughs> you? You look so helpless. Different. But is it a front? No. You aren't trying to hurt me. You... You aren't who I believe to you to be, are you? How can I be so foolish? I apologize. I truly do. This got out of hand. I... I don't know how to make things right now. I look some sure of what to do. Dal accepts your offer of goodwill. Do you want me to shake your hand? Even after I wrongfully attacked you? But that is a sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't ever expect to meet another human, let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think... I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Dab looks unsure what to do. Spare. You won. XP. Zero. Fifteen gold. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, um, see my house? Or something? I have to go there anyway, so... I guess I'll... I guess stop by if you have time. You know what? I'm actually really hyped to play this again. I'm having fun. This is gonna be great. We're gonna have a great time, guys. I have to, um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. Actually, please leave, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty already. I haven't swept since this morning. Okay. Alright. I know you're probably eager to get going. But feel free to stay as long as you like. Okay. A small table for one sits in the corner. You can't help but notice its fine craftsmanship. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Take it, yes. You got the sponge cake. Sorry to invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. Aww. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it, yes. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops a space? He likes the dark. Wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. You ready to leave? Not yet. Alright, take as long as you like. It's a flower pop holder. That's my turnip plant. He should be sprouting up any day now. He's really taking his time, but I don't rush him. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colors colors things are outside this place. Oh, oh okay. I, I sometimes forget what colors things are outside of this place. That's what he's saying. So I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting that way. Any I think the kids will find it more... Eh. I think the kids will find it more interesting that like that anyway. It might not be as educational though. Okie dokie, Artichoke. Excuse me. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. Let's look at something else, okay? Yeah, I never could figure out. Some Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field out from the one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but somehow I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but... I never could think of anything to leave in return, and one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I planted the last cob of corn I had down here. It's 
taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Okay. And that's about it for Dal's little rundown shack over here in this little corner. But he's got it looking real nice for the most part. He's got a little mini fridge just like me. And uh, yeah, are you ready to leave? Leave Dal's house, yes. If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. <sighs> well, here you are. Thank you for everything. You have really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up. But I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm ready. I'm finally ready to let my talent show. I can publish my novel. Have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I go around and place corn on every doorstep. <laughs> Everyone needs a little corn in their life. I've eaten corn every day for a year, and I'm doing moderately okay. So much to learn. So much to teach. I'm very excited. Oops. There I go. With, there I go again with my rambling. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Oh, it seems the exit is blocked off. Uh, let's see. There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I get... Before I forget, I never asked for your name. Mind informing me? Clover. Clover? What a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. See you later, friend. Yes, Dalv. We will see each other. No, oh, will we? I can't remember. Whatever. Either way. See you later. Let's go! There's a world we can visit if we go outside. 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 You guys like Donald Glover? The orange text of the sign was crossed out. Now it reads, Entry Forbidden in Blue Crayon. AKA Childish Gambino. So good. I didn't even sing that right, but I don't care. I didn't feel like raising my pitch all that high. <laughs> and I, I'm not singing it right. Uh, it's too embarrassing <laughs> right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. We are in uh, the Snowden Forest, I believe. Howdy! Congratulations on being rid of the, those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. We won't be anywhere near your fancy surface there for a while. And you know what? Probably the reason why I've done this like about 10, 15 minutes faster this time is because uh, now let's get moving before my pedals freeze. Hop to it, bud. Because I didn't run in the last time I did this. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't bud. It's gun hat? That's right. Clover. Nice name there. I thought I was the only flower around here. Well then, Clover, let's get a move on. I'll see you up ahead, hopefully somewhere warmer. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? New area a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you even need to save. It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. <laughs> Nothing to it, pal. Now get out there. I'm trying to, like, give Flavi kind of like a slight southern accent because it's like he kind of does have in my mind he kind of has one but he kind of does have a general american accent too like like he was from texas and then he moved to like california for and he's been there for like 15 years kind of thing there appears to be something interesting on this rock touch it yes it was just some dirt in the snow you wipe off your hand on a suspicious carving in the rock face all right guys it's gonna be it for the first episode of undertale yellow uh, replay <laughs> and I don't know if I'm ever going to release the original of it um, I may I may not um, who knows if, if I ever do it's going to I'm still going to need to edit the crap out of it and then like have it behind a Patreon wall or something like that or maybe I'll leave it unlisted and give people who pay a, a link I don't know that would be in like a year or something anyways either way thanks for watching I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this series. It'll be coming out over the next eight or nine days or whatever. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Have a great... Oh, and subscribe for more if you want. If you want, it would be cool. And hit the bell so you'll be notified if you're not subscribed. And you'll be able to come back and see more episodes at 10 a.m. Eastern. 
on the daily on the Sakamoto Suzumiya channel. Okay, that really is everything. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great day.